Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to be making a proper barbecue birthday cake. And of course, the first thing that we're going to do is fire up our barbecue. We'll put in two of the fire starters, light them up, put on our chimney starter, and we'll get out our bag of Kamada Joe's big block. Now we want to hand select some pieces. Going to take some of these size pieces. In the top of the bag, mostly they are really big blocks, but we want to stay away from that at the beginning. So we're just going to select a few smaller pieces for at the bottom. So we'll fill up our chimney until half full, we'll let it come up to temperature, and then we'll put it in our little charcoal basket. So while our barbecue is coming up to temperature, we are going to prepare our ingredients. I want to put in some bell peppers, a little bit of onion, some cheese, sausage, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Oh, we forgot one important thing. Of course, our superlicious barbecue rub. We're going to cube up these bell peppers. We'll chop up an onion as well. And now finally, the cheese. I'm using young Dutch cheese that will melt easily. Now before we put the cheese in with the bell peppers and the onions, we're just going to set some of it aside. Mix it up with your hands. Look at those colors. That's beautiful, right? You could use it to top the pie with to make it look good. And now we can add our cheese. So we'll mix this up as well. The reason that we cut our bell pepper and cheese into small chunks is that it will help with the cooking. And when you put big chunks in, it needs more time to cook. Now we get to the really challenging part. Now we have to build up our birthday pie. So I got one of these traditional baking shapes, I don't know, baking forms. And um, we're going to use it gonna clamp it shut again now I'm not the king of baking at home my wife does all the baking but with this birthday cake I really want to make it a manly birthday cake so I'm going to give it a try for the outside I got some really beautiful pork ribs open that up that's a nice rack of ribs look at that absolutely gorgeous so I'll dry that up quickly now I really want to take this part of the membrane off, so I'm getting a knife. I'm just using a dinner knife to wiggle underneath that silver skin that we have, in between the bone and the silver skin. Pop it up, and then we're all the way there. Just put your finger underneath, and in one stretch, just take it all off. You can use a paper towel to do this as well, that will make it less slippery. But for me, this is the way I like to do it. So let's fit this in our baking shape. There we go. Now, as you can see, the size of the pork belly is just too big for a pie to make it look good. So we gotta trim it up. Take it out again. And try and find where the bones end. And I can definitely feel that these bones are ending here. There's probably cartilage in between. We're going to take our knife and figure out where they end and then just cut it to size. Now we're not throwing this away. This is good stuff. We want to keep it and smoke it on the side. Now let's try this again. We're getting closer and closer. Trim it up a little bit more. So I'm going in here, cut off some of that excess meat on the bottom. Yes, and this is as square as it's going to be. Now to fill up this last part, we're going to take the last bit of our pork ribs. And we're just going to try and make it fit. That will work perfect. Cut up the top. Now it's time to start stuffing this baby. Oh yeah, this is going to be the best pie ever. Now, of course, we want to season the outside. So we're taking it out again and we're going to put some really good barbecue rub on it. 
Of course you can use any good barbecue rub, but I'm using my Superlicious barbecue rub. Just sprinkle on a lot of rub. We want the flavors to really get in there. And then put it back in our baking form. There we go. Make sure we dust the last part with our rub as well. Stick it in there. Perfect. A little bit on top. Of course, we don't want to forget about our scraps. So we'll put some rub on that as well. Now we get to the part where we mix our stuffing. This is 50-50 pork beef. And I'm just eyeballing this. Just making sure that I have enough to fill up the whole pie and not have too much compared with our other stuffing. And of course, I'm going to need some barbecue rub. Now mix that up. I'm working it all in that minced meat. You see that the consistency of the minced meat is slowly changing into a smooth paste. Our stuffing is done. Now it's time to put it in our shape. Slowly drop it in there. Repress the bottom. Look at that. I got one more thing. Sausage. So we're just gonna stick in these sausages all the way to the bottom. Remember, it's your birthday. We can go a little crazier. Fill it up with some more stuffing. <laughs> that is fun, right? Look at that. That is a proper manly birthday cake. Now it's time to set up our barbecue for that slow heat, that low and slow smoking. So we're going to take a charcoal, dump it into our charcoal basket. Now to block some of that radiation heat that we get from the charcoal, we're going to put in one of these big wooden logs to make sure the radiation heat doesn't hit the cake. Now we'll put our grill grate on and on goes our pie. Look at how gorgeous this looks. We'll set it in the opposite direction. This will start slowly smoking and creating the beautiful flavor that we're looking for on our birthday cake. So I'll we'll add a chunk of apple. We'll close the lid and let it smoke. We almost forgot the scraps. That's the best part. Let's put those on as well. And I'll close the lid. Our barbecue birthday cake has been smoking for five hours. Time to check on her. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> she looks amazing. Time to take her off. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen if we take off the bake form. So we're going to take a little bit of butcher's wine and secure it, just to be safe. Wrap it around our birthday cake. Now we can open her up. Careful, she's still hot. There we go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Let's take her off, slowly and carefully. Look at that, that's a proper barbecue birthday cake. Before we're going to continue to smoke her, we're going to brush on some barbecue sauce and make her look all shiny. Let me turn this around so you guys can get a good look at it. Look at how gorgeous that looks. So we'll put it back on the smoker and smoke her for at least another hour. Now, of course, we still have our little treat on the barbecue that we can take off now. Look at that. So while we wait for our barbecue birthday cake to come up to temperature and get a nice caramelization on the outside, we've got these treats here waiting for us to be eaten. 
That is all flavor. Smoke goodness. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Look at that. We got a nice smoke ring and a nice bark on the outside. Super juicy on the inside. Look at that. We are truly lucky. Mmm. Wow. It's been an hour. We're going to take her off the grill. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Let's sprinkle on some of those colors. Really make it a birthday cake. Now I wish I had candles, but I just don't. Otherwise I would have put them on. Before we're going to slice into them, we're just taking off that string that's keeping everything together. And now it's time to actually slice into her. Well, that's a fun birthday cake, right? So uh, let's take a bite out of it. First, we're going to take a little bit of those ribs because they look absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Mm. They have a nice smoke ring and the flavor of the rub and the barbecue sauce is fantastic. Now let's work our way into the stuffing. Oh, mm. This is really good. The inside is nice and juicy and the outside really has that barbecue flavor. Absolutely fantastic. If it was my birthday, I would wish someone would make this for me. If you have a friend that absolutely loves barbecue and you want to surprise him with the ultimate barbecue birthday cake, this is the one. You got to try it. This is a fun recipe and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, as always, I want to thank my sponsors for making it all happen. So if you want to become a sponsor, hit that sponsor button. Look us up on Patreon and uh, see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on grilling.